So interventional cardiologist is a cardiologist who specializes in doing uh, invasive procedures in the heart. And that means that uh, for most uh, of us, the bread and butter uh, therapies would be um, coronary angioplasty, which is ballooning and stenting of the heart arteries. Simply because ischemic heart disease, which is the uh, narrowing of the heart arteries, is the commonest thing that the cardiologist would see. But more than that, the interventional cardiologist, at least for some interventional cardiologists, uh, there are other things that we've been trained to do. Uh, for one is, uh, for example, the heart valve disease, uh, which uh, we were talking about. And uh, this kind of uh, more specialized therapy is only limited, uh, is only performed by some interventional cardiologists, ballooning of the mitral valve, for example, and the uh, replacement of the aortic valve via the groin, or what we call transcatheter aortic valve replacement, uh, which is done only by a few of us. Apart from that, I think um, as an interventional cardiologist, we see patients with vascular disease everywhere, which means that their artery blockages are not just confined to the heart, but we also see them in the lower limbs, for example, and perhaps even arteries in the neck. And um, uh, some of us are trained also to perform uh, balloons and stents in these locations in the legs, for example. So I have patients who come in you know, complaining of severe calf pain when they walk. So what happens is that the uh, arteries in the leg are blocked and they do not get enough blood supply when they walk so the muscles start to hurt and we can help them by opening up the arteries in the leg and putting stents in. The other group of patients that we see are patients with gangrene or non-healing wounds to the foot and again this is due to a problem of blood supply that's uh, poor going down the foot, many blockages especially in diabetics and what we can do is again to perform balloon angioplasty of, of ballooning of these arteries to improve blood supply and help healing of the foot. The other group that we sometimes see, although much less common, is patients with a very uh, refractory high blood pressure or who suddenly develop uh, heart failure. Some of these patients have a condition what we call renal artery stenosis. That means they have very severe narrowings in their arteries supplying the kidneys. And in a small proportion of, small proportion of these patients, what we do is that we can actually do an angioplasty and stent of these kidney arteries to enlarge them and reduce or re at least partially resolve the problem of refractory hyperpressure and sudden uh, heart failure. So that's another thing that interventional cardiologists are trained to do. And um, the, the other therapy is uh, what we call carotid stenting. The carotid artery is a big artery in the neck that supplies the brain. And sometimes when this artery becomes uh, narrowed and diseased, it may cause a stroke because uh, the cholesterol debris goes up into the brain. For some of these patients, um, angioplasty and stenting of this artery may be required. The other alternative being uh, surgery to remove the plug. But if they are not suitable for surgery or they refuse surgery, then this is something that uh, interventional cardiologists can do to stent the artery to try to reduce the incidence of further stroke in future.